I'm Matt Frazier and I'm on an incredible mission. Starting my journey as an EMT, my main focus has always been about helping others. But I left something out. I have been blessed with an amazing ability to communicate with those who are no longer with us. My mission now is a bit different, to reconnect as many people as possible with their loved ones in heaven. My live shows are what I enjoy doing the most. Don't worry anymore. He's like, I'm the one who's guiding you. I'm the one who's there. It is always so incredible to see the comfort and inspiration that is given through the messages that I pass on. I'm Matt Frazier, and I'm the medium with the message. Did you have a father that passed? Know that he's stepping forward because I just kept saying like over here, over here, and this would be your dad stepping forward, letting you know that he's that he's coming forward for you. One of the things that I am seeing: Did he have issues in right here in the chest before passing? He has asthma and he has emphysema. And he has emphysema yeah. before he passed. Mm -hmm. So know that he's definitely stepping forward and saying that he doesn't have that anymore and that thank you so much for being there because one of the things that he's saying is about how you took care of your father and how you were right there because he's like you're a daddy's girl they're a daddy's girl he's like he's like you have to talk to my my um you have to talk to my daughter you have to talk to my daughter i'm like okay all right that's fine and one of the things that <laughs> and one of the things that he's also bringing up was your father a hard worker when here when he was here did he work with his hands yes perfect so I know that he'd be stepping forward as well, because what I seen in front of me was like strong hands. But he's also talking about a house that was built. Who had the house built, or what was with the building of the house? Yeah, it works because my, my house fell down, fell down and he had to rebuild. Your house fell down and he rebuilt it? Yes. So know that he'd be stepping forward and saying that, that, that gave me goosebumps. <laughs> So know that he'd be stepping forward and be saying thank you so, so much and remembering the times that he had in this house. And know that your father's kneeling down next to your mother and saying prayers for her. Because it's showing me here that she's having a little bit of health problems that's going on. Yeah. And he's saying that he's sitting there, he's watching over her. He's praying for her, watching over her right at her, at her bed. Does that make sense to you? I'm gonna give you a hug, you're so sweet. This is actually funny, the relationship between you and your mother-in-law, because she comes forward and she shows me here that you were actually taking care of her. And like, well, that's what she's talking about. Because normally when I see mother-in-law, it's like monster-in-law. You see like the, like, oh, get, watch out. But she definitely comes forward and she's telling me here that you were like a daughter to her. She's like, you did everything for her and she wants to thank you for that. And let me tell you something. She could have been someone who was very picky at times because she shows me here that she liked everything like her a certain way. What was it with the meals? Did you go over there and bring her meals or were feeding her before she had passed? Okay, that's all right. You don't have to speak. <laughs> So know that, hey, how do you think I feel? I'm over here talking to them. So know that she'd be saying that she saw, <laughs> know that she's thanking you for the times that you went over there, that you brought her over snacks, you made sure that everything was okay. And thank you so much for including her in everything that you did when she was here in the physical world. Because you made sure that you included her in absolutely everything. And she wants to thank you. And one of the things that she's also saying as well is like to now to take time to focus on yourself. She's like, and what's with Florida with you? Where's the Florida connection? Stand up, why don't you stand up? She's originally from Florida? Well, she's from here, but she moved to Florida. That's where their retirement home. Perfect. My husband and I want to move to Florida. Her, her son and her, um, my father-in-law lives in Florida. Perfect. So I know that she's saying that you'll definitely do that. She's like, but there's so much that they're doing right now. She's like, she's so busy. She's like, she's constantly running around. She's like, when do you think you're going to find the time? But know that she's saying to you that, yes, definitely you will be moving out there. But she shows me here that it's not until like later on in the future. I would say about like two, three years. And one of the things that she's saying to you as well is to definitely hold on to the moments that you shared with her because the, the strongest moments was before she had actually passed. Like everybody was with her 24 hours a day and she wants to thank you for that. And one of the things that she's saying is that she, like I said, she looked at you like a daughter and she wants you to know that. And she wants to know that she'll, you'll always be in her heart and she's actually the one watching over you on the other side. And one of the things that I also hear from her, give me one second. Oh my God, she's talking about your husband. She's like, could you lighten up a little bit? <laughs> Do you actually have like a to-do list for him around the house? Oh no, opposite way. <laughs> <laughs> she's saying for him, she's like, you the two of you are constantly busy, 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 like running around, so on and so forth. And she's saying, just enjoy it. Enjoy the time that you're here. She's like, and don't worry about, you know, moving out or running around or whatnot, that that will come later on. But definitely know that she's with you and that she's there. Okay? And one of the things that I'm also hearing with you, I'm sorry, as I'm, as I'm standing right here, I'm also hearing like school books. Are you going back to school or did you just recently go back? No, but I need to. Okay. <laughs>
because your grandmother's like standing here, like handing over like books to you and saying like, make sure that she goes, make sure that she goes. Did you want to go into healthcare or psychology? Um, psychology. Perfect. Because one of the things that they showed me was like psychology flashed in front of me and they're saying that you do really well with that because you've always been good with children and helping out kids. So know that they'd be saying that that would be a great career for you to go in and that they're also watching over you on the other side as well. Does that make sense to you? You're very welcome. I give you a hug as well. You're very welcome. Oh my God. One of the things that your father's telling me is that just like simple times with you is what like he's gonna remember. Would you just sit there and talk with your father? Like just be there? Cause he's telling here, one of the great things that the two of you had was really great communication. And that he's telling you this and letting you know that he's watching, he's like showing me here that you're constantly, there's a lot of stress that's going on with you right now. Are you changing friends or changing groups of people that are around you? <laughs> okay. So know that he's saying, because he's saying that you're such a good friend to everybody. You're always helping people out. You're always, you know, there for people. He actually shows me like your phone is like at and It's always <laughs> ringing, always ringing off the hook. And he's showing me here, like right now, you're really gonna be focusing on yourself, moving forward. Like I keep saying, what's what's the name Jim to you? Is there a Jim or a James? Um, X. <laughs> that was your X? So know that he'd be bringing this up because one of the things that he shows me is like improvement of life with you. And he's telling me here that like this is only like gonna make your life better. It's only going to improve things around you. Know that like you've kind of felt like you've been in the same old slum, like going, uh, like the same like cycle going on and on and on. And he's like, don't feel that way. Like start moving forward. You just recently set up a plan for yourself actually because he just told me, right? And you're trying to follow through with that. Are you doing a job, ter job change or trying to bring in more money? I would like to. Because one of the things that I keep seeing in front of me is that he shows me a house being either put up for sale or moving. What would that mean to you? I just bought one. Oh, you just bought one. Perfect. So know that that would be him saying to that, that good luck on the house that your father sees that. Do you understand that? Your father's right there because he showed me like the for sale sign. I'm like, I don't know what this means. So know that it would be him coming forward letting you know that he saw you buying the house. And he's like, thank God. It's finally time that you're gonna be focused on yourself, moving forward, and that would be him showing you about you are, on, are in the step in the right direction, in other words. Sometimes I feel like I'm on a treasure hunt. This was your nephew? Yes. And he was just young when he passed? Yes. Okay. His mom's still here in this world, correct? Because one of the things that he's saying is that if, if you could please just let his, let his mom know that he's okay and that he does love her. Because one of the things that I keep seeing with him is that there was a lot of anxiety when he was here in this world. Like he was, was she constantly having issues with him as far as like anxiety goes or like, it, cause I keep, I keep feeling like, um, almost like I feel clammy. I feel like, um, like my heart's beating a million miles an hour. Like, um, you know, it, it's almost like his moods would go up and down, up and down, up and down. And he wants to say, I'm sorry to my mother for feeling, for having her experience all of those signs. Because it shows me here that she was constantly talking to him all the time, like all night long, she was up talking to him. Was she actually calling people on the phone, telling him like, I don't know what to do, I don't know yes. what to do, I don't know what to do? Yes. And one of the things that he's actually talking about is I keep seeing his name though, written on shirts. Do you have shirts with his name written on it? Or is there somebody who doesn't yes. walk for him? Yes, we have the shirts. Perfect. So know that he'd be bringing that forward as well and just kind of giving that as a reminder to let you know that he's there safe and at peace, that he sees the shirts that were made for him and definitely thanking, thanking all of his family for being around. One of the things is that there was nothing he could do to control it. It's just like he would be very happy sometimes and other times it'd be like, it, one of the things he's, he's saying is that he should have listened to his mother. He should have listened to his family because there were friends that were around him that were causing, that, that were causing issues that were there. Yes. And he wants, you, he wants his mom to know that she was right. She was right, because he keeps bringing that, that forward to me. And definitely letting her know that he is there, he is safe, he is at peace. Was he in his bedroom when he passed? Yes. Because one of the things that I said was just validate something so that, that nobody else would know. I said, where did you pass? And he showed me his bedroom there. And one of the things that he keeps saying is like, who has his baseball hat? I do. You kept it? Yes. Okay, because this is just me kind of communicating yep. with him just asking you know, for quick validation so that you know that he's there. And he showed me the baseball hat, and I'm like, what, what does this mean? So I passed it on to you. So he'd be telling you, yes, you know, that he sees that you had kept the hat. And that's it. Does that make Thank sense you. to you? Yes. You're very welcome. I'm gonna give you a hug. Like I said, what it is is like quick bits of information that they kind of come through with. Stand up here. Okay. This would have been your sister and your mother. Because also in that vibration, I just heard Karen like to come over here. And I think it was like right here when I heard as well. And one of the things that I have to tell you 
is that your mom's definitely stepping forward and she's talking about what a strong connection she had with you and here in this world. Because your mom was literally, like I keep seeing her holding onto your hand, like she would not let you um, leave her sight. Like she was constantly right there, right there, right there. Definitely. And one of the things that she's definitely saying is that not to think of me as gone. She's like, I'm still here right now. I'm still with you. It's what she keeps, was she ill before passing? Yes. Because it shows me here like that. Like I keep seeing, I gotta be honest with you. One of the things that your mom shows me is that she didn't want to go. She's like, no, I'm not going. No, I don't want to go. She was holding on and holding on and holding on and holding on. And she's like, there's nothing that could have been done. She's like, it went right through my body. Like she was constantly like just, and she tried to keep in good spirits. I keep seeing everybody coming in and like going to visit her and whatnot. What's with the teddy bear? Did you get your mother a teddy bear? What would that be with it? You explain. Um, her grandson brought her a teddy bear. Before she had passed. So know that she'd be saying thank you for that because I just asked her to validate, you know, some of the final moments of her passing. And she showed me a teddy bear being brought to her. And she wants you all to know that she's always going to be around all of you all the time. And one of the things that I keep seeing as well, do you still have a rose of hers or what's with the rose? I still have a rose from her, uh, you know, that we keep in, in the kitchen. I had a rose tattoo put on Perfect, because she's showing me here, like when you when you receive roses or you feel roses, like in other words, if somebody gives you a rose, roses pop into your life, know that that would be your mom right there, handing that to you and letting, just giving you kind of like a hello from heaven to let you know that she's there safe and at peace and that she's and just kind of saying hello because your mom when she was here in this world she was very proactive but one of the things that she shows me here is that she didn't let is that she was constantly in your life all the time she had to know what you were doing where you were going so on and so forth because she had that strong love for you 